aerospace startup Boom Supersonic is on a mission to resurrect faster than the speed of sound commercial air travel, and on Monday, the company completed its second successful test flight of a supersonic jet. The birth of Boom Supersonic really came from its founder and leader's passion for aviation, but also the belief that there could be a means to offer affordable and sustainable supersonic travel. The vision of ultra-fast aircraft, able to whisk travelers across continents in mere hours, has been a persistent dream of humanity. Yet today it feels closer than ever to becoming reality. While aviation powerhouses like Boeing and Lockheed Martin focus on hypersonic missile technology, Boom Technology is making waves with its supersonic demonstrator, the XB-1, aiming to revolutionize passenger air travel. But questions remain. Can this innovation guarantee safety and stability? And perhaps the biggest question of all, are we truly prepared for this leap into the future? Let's explore. Once aerospace historian Richard P. Hallion, a founding curator at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, compared humanity's faith in hypersonic technology to belief in the second coming. It's not a question of if it will happen, but when. Over the last 60 years, hypersonic vehicles and weapons have seen cycles of enthusiasm and disappointment. Programs launched with high hopes were often shelved due to overwhelming technological hurdles, particularly with propulsion systems and re-entry protection. For decades, the military approached hypersonic development with caution. While recognizing its potential, the immediate demands of the Cold War required focus on more conventional systems like bombers and missiles to counter Soviet aggression. The complexities of air-breathing engines and the sheer cost of innovation often relegated hypersonics to the sidelines. Yet breakthroughs such as maneuvering warheads for ballistic missiles and the space shuttle's atmospheric re-entry proved the feasibility of operating at extreme speeds. With these advancements, hypersonics began to shift from distant aspiration to tangible possibility. By the Gulf War, the idea of rapidly deployable, long-range hypersonic weapons capable of striking with precision and started gaining traction. This marked a turning point as defense strategies evolved to embrace the transformative power of hypersonics. As Kevin Bocutt, Boeing's chief scientist for hypersonics put it, the old saying that hypersonics was the future and always would be has finally been replaced by belief. Today, the field is at the forefront of a new arms race. Superpowers aren't racing to reach alien worlds, but to develop weapons that could disable enemy systems with unprecedented speed and precision. The Pentagon views hypersonics as revolutionary, akin to the impact of stealth and smart bombs in the past. However, achieving this vision demands engines and materials capable of withstanding extreme speeds and temperatures. While the costs are enormous, Startups exploring supersonic innovations could hold the key, potentially shaping not only defense technology, but the future of aerospace itself. And one company pushing the boundaries of aerospace innovation is Boom Technology. Led by Blake Scholl, the visionary CEO, and Josh Kroll, its resourceful CTO, Boom is shaping the future of supersonic travel. At the heart of their ambitious plans is the XB-1, a sleek, one-third scale prototype with three powerful jet engines. This experimental craft is just the beginning, paving the way for their ultimate goal, the Boom Overture, a next-generation supersonic passenger airliner. Nearly half a century has passed since the Concorde first roared across the skies, cutting travel times from New York to London to a mere 3.5 hours at speeds exceeding Mach 2. But despite its revolutionary promise, the Concorde was plagued by a persistent challenge, the thunderous sonic boom that came with breaking the sound barrier. Now, after decades of technological advancements, Boom Technology is closer than ever to solving that problem with a design that redefines what's possible in aviation. Initially, Boom aimed for a cruising speed of Mach 2.2, a pace that would align with global airline schedules while keeping noise levels on par with long-range subsonic aircraft. However, to refine efficiency and manageability, they set the overture speed at Mach 1.7, still an incredible feat doubling the speed of modern airliners. The team's approach to the noise dilemma is as innovative as it is practical. The Overture will fly over 600 transoceanic routes, breaking the sound barrier only above water to ensure the booms don't disturb communities on land. Over land, the aircraft will cruise at a subsonic Mach 0.94, still outpacing competitors. 
by over 20%. In addition, Boom has the potential to integrate NASA's advancements from the X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology Project, designed to drastically reduce sonic boom noise. While the Overture's first passenger flight is slated for 2029, the XB-1 remains the critical stepping stone. Introduced in 2016, it secured funding by 2017, proving that the age of supersonic flight is ready for a grand comeback. The XB-1, aptly nicknamed Baby Boom, is an impressive feat of engineering, measuring 68 feet in length, longer than Lockheed Martin's F-22 Raptor, which comes in at 62 feet. However, its 17-foot wingspan is dwarfed by the F-35 Lightning II's 35-foot span. But this design is not about aesthetics. Every detail, from its swept-back wings to its slim profile, is a calculated response to the unforgiving laws of aerodynamics. As an aircraft accelerates to supersonic speeds, pressure waves form, merging into a powerful shockwave. These shockwaves create drag, wave drag, that can double or triple resistance. Overcoming this challenge is at the heart of Baby Boom's design. To counteract supersonic drag, the XB-1 relies on three General Electric J8515 engines, equipped with advanced variable geometry air intakes and exhaust systems. Together, they generate enough thrust to maintain flight at incredible speeds. To minimize drag, Boom technology meticulously crafted the aircraft's structure, prioritizing efficiency and performance. Its swept wings and thin profile reduce cross-sectional area and consequently, wave drag. The aircraft's body combines lightweight composites, titanium, and stainless steel with high-temperature-resistant materials sourced from Dutch supplier 10K Advanced Composites, a key partner in SpaceX Falcon 9 development. The glider structure is composed of intermediate modulus carbon fiber epoxy, high modulus fibers for wing spar caps, and bismolimide prepreg for high-temperature components. The rear fuselage housing the engines is 90% titanium, chosen for its strength and heat resistance, with the remaining 10% crafted from A286 stainless steel, capable of enduring temperatures exceeding 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit. Even the environmental control system showcases ingenuity, using the fuel itself to dissipate cabin heat. The XB-1 can achieve speeds of up to Mach 2.2 in a range of 12,200 miles, powered by these cutting-edge materials and design features. Interestingly, the J85 engines are exclusive to the prototype. The Overture, Boom Technology's ultimate vision, will feature Symphony engines, a custom design. Symphony's development involves partnerships with Florida Turbine Technologies, FTT for design, Standard Aero for maintenance, and GE Additive for advanced component printing. Notably, FTT's team includes experts who previously worked on the Pratt & Whitney engines used in the F-22 Raptor, and F-35 Lightning II fighters. With Symphony engines, thrust will skyrocket from the XB-1's 12,900 lbf to 140,000 lbf in the Overture, with each of its four engines delivering 35,000 lbf at takeoff. Though the XB-1's first flight was delayed by the pandemic and rigorous testing, March 2024 finally saw Baby Boom take to the skies. Furthermore, in 2023, Boom technology reached another pivotal moment in its journey towards supersonic flight. The team secured an airworthiness certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration, successfully passed an in-depth flight readiness review, and conducted a series of rigorous ground and taxi tests. But their work didn't stop there. Before the XB-1 can shatter the sound barrier, it must complete 10 subsonic flights. The program hit a major milestone recently in November with its seventh and eighth flights. During one of these tests, the aircraft reached a record speed of 629 miles per hour, approximately Mach 0.82, while cruising above 25,000 feet, proving both its performance and structural stability at high speeds. With confidence growing, the Boom Team has its eyes set on breaking the sound barrier by the end of 2024. If all goes to plan, the XB-1 will hit Mach 1 during its 10th flight, marking a groundbreaking achievement in the pursuit of supersonic travel. Meanwhile, the cost of its commercial counterpart, the Overture, has generated significant buzz. Early estimates suggest a price tag of $200 to $250 million per aircraft, with major players like United Airlines and Japan Airlines already committing to 15 and 20 orders, respectively. 
For perspective, the entire XB1 project has cost around $200 million, highlighting the enormous stakes and ambitions behind this venture. Yet questions linger about affordability for passengers. In the 1990s, Concorde tickets cost up to $10,000, roughly $20,000 in today's dollars. Boom's CEO envisions a future where anyone can fly anywhere in four hours for just $100. But that goal still feels more like a distant dream than an imminent reality. The real question is, can Boom technology transform supersonic travel from an elite luxury into a practical, everyday mode of transportation? Or will it remain an ambitious vision just out of reach? As the team races toward its next milestones, one thing is certain, whether they succeed or not, they're reshaping the conversation around the future of flight. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned for more updates. The story of Boom is far from over. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for tuning in.